and I've asked Andre to start first. He's been involved for a very long time, focused on issues that he has a lot of passion for, around, particularly around global food systems. Um, he'll say whatever he wants, and then Anita will comment. And then Abdullah, you can join in anytime you want. Sherry and Salim will come along me at the end. Should I stand, or do you want me to sit? You can sit okay. Hmm? I think they can should I? sit uh, up there. <laughs> I, I want to use my minutes to talk about bridges, uh, the, the main symbol of this meeting. And uh, the, the picture which I contributed uh, to this forum, uh, which I sent by email, is the Ponte de Lima in, uh, in Portugal. And this bridge is built, has been built 2,000 years ago. And it's still in use and still beautiful. And I asked myself the question, what are we doing today? Uh, that is going to be useful and beautiful 2,000 years from now. I come from a country with a lot of water and a lot of bridges, and I have used it to my benefit uh, already quite some years ago. I was in negotiation with a Finnish industrialist about buying one of his businesses. And uh, the negotiations had gone well, only at the very end We'd made the final offer, and he was being quite difficult. And uh, I invited him to come. He was passing through Holland, and I invited him for lunch, and I chose a restaurant along the water. And at the end of the lunch, I uh, uh, made an introduction about the importance of water for my country and about our great ability in building bridges. And I gave him a small gift, and he unwrapped it. And what he found was a little miniature toy silver drawbridge, and I'd been very careful to open the bridge. And exactly what I predicted happened. He saw it, took his finger, closed the bridge, and at that moment I looked him straight in the eye, <laughs> and within 10 minutes the contract was signed. <laughs> I, uh, I got to know Peter in 2001. And since then, I've always been enthused by, uh, by Seoul and uh, introduced Seoul at that time into Unilever and have been, had the privilege of being quite active on a number of the Seoul projects myself, and I still am. I was at the start of, of building Elias, which I think is, is an extraordinarily inspiring program, so inspiring that I know my, uh, uh, my successor in, in Unilever uh, is saying this is so valuable, we cannot afford to have only two people doing that. <laughs> We're going to create our own versions of, of this learning principle. Uh, secondly, I have been involved in the, uh, something called the Global Dialogue Project, promoting dialogue in the world in order to solve uh, large problems, also an offshoot of Seoul. But thirdly, the Sustainable Food Lab. And in my own words, the Sustainable Food Lab is bringing together business leaders and social leaders from many different corners who together are concerned with how we're going to feed the 9 billion people in 2050. And if you read the papers today, uh, it's not all that evident that that is going to be possible. The, uh, um, what all these projects have in common is that they're dealing with major social and environmental challenges. And I'm convinced are providing us with a framework for lasting solutions. I retired from Unilever two years ago, and I now, I've worked all around the world, I now find myself in a singular position of indeed building bridges, of connecting people whom I know around the world who do not know each other, but who together have something which is very complementary. And I can share two examples with you uh, within my work for the Sustainable Food Lab. Uh, I had noticed that the Sustainable Food Lab, for whatever reason, was walking big circles around the FAO. And I just thought, found that not good enough. And I'm a great believer in the United Nations. And I believe if we are critical of certain of its agencies, uh, our role is not, our task is not to reinvent them, but to improve them. And uh, I took the initiative to go to Rome and to present the Sustainable Food Lab uh, to the people at the FAO. And as a result, we ha now have a firm connection, and they are quite, quite interested in the work we are doing. 
a second bridge I'm building to the UK, which is still a, uh, a blank spot on the map of the Sustainable Food Lab, and it shouldn't be. And uh, I'm busy on a project in the UK to see how we can arrive at a transformational change in the UK diet. We all know that uh, Western European diets and American diets, for that matter, are uh, having very, very worrisome effects in terms of promoting obesity and diabetes too. Dramatic things have to change, and a food chain simply cannot be sustainable without having also as a component a sustainable diet. So, with the inspiration of this forum, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not looking for 2,000 years, but I'd be extremely happy if what I'm doing, my bridges last 